Tonight, there is a prayer vigil for Maria del Carmen Lopez. She is a mother of seven, a grandmother to 19, and she was kidnapped from her home in Mexico on February 9th. Lopez is a dual U.S.-Mexico citizen. She moved to Mexico about 10 years ago, often returns to Southern California, though, for doctor's appointments and to visit her family, who loves her very much. Sunday marks five months since she was kidnapped from her home in Pueblo Nuevo. Her kidnappers demanded a ransom. Her family is not able to pay them the money they're asking for, and now they are clinging to hope as the weeks turn into months. Maria's daughter, Zonia Lopez, is with us once again. Zonia, I had hoped that the next time you and I talked that your mom would be home with you. That is still not the case. When was the last time that you heard from her or those who have her? At this point, it's been um, closer to 10 weeks now. And tell me about that last time you heard from them. Um, that last call, she, as I, I had mentioned, she is pleading for her life. She is asking, she names a few of my brothers and sisters, and she is asking for us to do everything that they say, because um, they're only giving, I believe, if I'm not mistaken, 24 hours, um, and that her life depended on it. Are you able to locate the phone calls? Do you know where they're coming from? Um, I do believe that the FBI and the Mexican authorities were able to locate, give some location to the phone calls. Um, there was many, many phone calls that came in. Mm -hmm. And are they coming to you? How are they being received? They were being received directly to one of my siblings. Okay, so she has your number, but they're not coming from her cell phone. No. Okay. Any leads in the investigation? What can you share that authorities have told you? Um, so far, the we, the communication is very limited with both FBI and the authorities in Mexico. So it's very difficult to get anything concrete. We have received um, some leads, but they don't lead us to her. And at this point, like you just mentioned, it's been five months. I think that Still, the people in Mexico and here are maybe not here so much, but they're scared to come forward. And we want to still highlight that they can come forward. It's anonymous and that there is a reward. And what is the reward right now, Zonia? Um, as of this last week, which I wasn't made aware of, I, it's $25,000. Okay. Is that what they're asking for? Or are they asking for more money and ransom? No, the ransom is just... It's a number that we just don't have that kind of money. Yeah, and the message to them is we can't pay you, give our mom back. What would you say to those who have her right now? Please give her back. It's been close to five months and we clearly don't have the money that you're asking for. <laughs> she needs to come home. Mm -hmm. We miss her and we need her here. We don't have that type of money. We're not, we're not rich. Why did they take her, Zonia? What happened the day that she was kidnapped? She was watering her plants at home. It's a quiet, it's a small town. I honestly think she was targeted. She's a US citizen. Everyone in the town is born there, um, raised. I think this was a targeted attack um, with the thinking or the knowledge that she has her family here in the United States and that we might have money. So our plea is also to We've reached out and we were pleading to the president to please deploy our resources. Although the FBI is on the case, we still need answers and we don't have our mother. How often are you getting updates from those who are investigating her kidnapping? Not often at all. I can't remember the last time I received an actual update of what is actually happening and and it's heartbreaking because we're reaching the five month, <laughs> we're reaching the five month mark and we don't have answers. She's a U.S. citizen. The president can elevate this um, nationwide and reach out to the Department of Justice so that they can work closer or closely with the Mexican authorities and get some results. I know there are great risks. Have you or any member of your family gone to the place where your mom was living since she was taken? No, it's a, the state is, it's extremely dangerous. Their violence, the crime rates in that state are extremely high. Being 
I would say going there is making ourselves direct targets also. Right, understood. I know there is a prayer vigil for your mom tonight. Um, tell me what you and your family have planned to honor her uh, to get the word out about her case. Um, we will be gathering in the city of Norwalk um, at 7 p.m. We're hoping my mom's a strong believer, prayer, hope, and all that good energy all at once. We believe that this is going to reach her. We need it as a family also. We've endured tremendous pain, um, the emotions daily from anger, sadness, and just often hopelessness, we need to come together and unite and elevate the story, make sure that it continues to, we continue to spread her name to bring her back home safe. Thank you for watching. Go to newsnationnow.com to find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.